Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back! All the embroidery lovers, this DIY is for you. I will show you how to make embroidery patches which can be used to customize bags, clothes or anything you want. Let's start! So today I'm going to use my new tool that I just received. It's a table clamp uh, that's adjustable. I'm going to show you. It's the first time that I'm going to use it, but it looks really practical. As you can see, you can move it as you want, as you feel comfortable while you're doing your embroidery. And you can also adjust the height like this. So I'm going to give it a try today and we'll see how comfortable I will be. Well, I will film for you guys. So I decided to use felt as my base and I already had an outline of a butterfly for my patch. So I attempted to use transfer paper, but it didn't work on the felt. So I had to cut out the shape, trace it and then freehand draw the inner shapes of the butterfly. I don't want it any other, any other way I used the backstitch for all the black lines on the butterfly For the other colors, I used a technique called needle painting. This is a technique to make your stitches look like paintbrush strokes. We must alternate between long and short stitches and then fill in the gaps with more long and short stitches alternating but with a different color to give a shading effect. This will show one color gradually blending into the other as opposed to one flat line showing the two different colors. This gives your embroidery a more realistic look. This technique usually uses only one thread which can take a long time so for my butterfly I decided to use two threads. This is a great technique to make the colors of the wings really pop.
After completing the stitching, I decided to attach some beads on the wings to create some extra dynamics, but I find it also helps to accentuate the colors of the wings. When this is completed, cut around the butterfly, but make sure to leave some space between the edge of the stitching and the area you are cutting so it doesn't unravel. We need to leave a small amount of felt. For the last step, we need to hide that part of felt by stitching around it, which creates like a border effect and helps to make the butterfly really stick out. enjoyed watching this video now you know how to make your own patch you can customize it as you want with or without pearls let me know in the comment section how it goes and don't forget to like and subscribe follow me on Instagram and share this video on your social media to support my channel and I'll see you next week with a new video